good kick right in front of the goal, and it's in. And now for your Peters Township Lady Indians. Number 28, defense, Adriana Costanza. Adriana is the daughter of Rob and Melissa Costanza. She's been playing field hockey for nine years. Four of them for Peters Township High School. She's a three-year varsity starter. Adriana has been playing lacrosse as long as she has been playing field hockey. She shows her enthusiasm for the sport by coaching youth field hockey. After high school, A2, as she's affectionately known, plans to attend college, but is currently undecided as to where. Her field of study will definitely include teaching and coaching. Adriana's favorite field hockey memories are all of the bus rides with Cassidy's neck pillow slash inflatable life preserver. If you know, you know. In 10 years, Adriana sees herself teaching history and coaching little hit kids in California with a car parked just outside. Adriana would like to thank her parents for all that they have done for her. You've shaped me into the best person I can be. I love you with all of my heart, always and forever. Her advice to the underclassmen, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Adriana Costanza. Number five, defense and captain, Emma Devine. Emma is the daughter of Mike and Laura Devine. Emma began her field hockey career her freshman year and will be a four-year letterman. She's also a member of the German club and plays on both the girls' basketball and lacrosse team. She has served as her class vice president for four years. After high school, she plans on going to college and finding a steady job. Emma says, my favorite field, field hockey memory was last year after the first scrimmage when Cassidy, Lydia, Lydia and I were singing The Lion Sleeps Tonight the whole way home. In 10 ye years, she sees herself living on the lake with her husband, lots of dogs, and maybe a kid. Emma would like to thank her parents for supporting her through everything. You've always been my biggest supporters, and I'm so thankful for everything that you do for me. I love you guys. Her advice to the underclassmen, just enjoy the ride. I remember freshman year, excuse me, her advice to the underclassmen, just enjoy the ride. I remember freshman year sending off the seniors and thinking this will never be me, and here we are. Nothing is guaranteed, so make the most of every moment. Good luck next year, you guys. I will miss it. Number 12, midfield, Katie Elin. Katie is the daughter of Rich and Lynn Elin. 
Katie played soccer for nine years, including playing on the high school team her freshman and sophomore years. She easily transferred those skills when she joined the field hockey team her junior year. Katie has played for Victory Express Soccer Club for seven years and will continue to play in the spring. After high school, Katie plans on attending college to receive a business degree combined with a culinary arts degree. Her fa favorite memory is playing seven versus seven in the varsity game against Norwin last year. In 10 years, Katie sees herself owning a bakery in a big city while being married and starting a family. Katie would like to thank her parents for supporting her in everything she chooses to do. I love you so much, Mom and Dad. Her advice to the younger players, always give 110% in everything that you do and take advantage of your time in high school because it flies by. Katie Elin. Number 25, forward, Gia Grau. Gia is the daughter of Aaron and Karen Grau. Gia has been playing field hockey since she was in fourth grade. She's been a member of the high school team for three years. Gia also loves to dance. She does tap, jazz, ballet, musical theater, hip hop, lyrical, point, and modern. And she assists the teachers at the studios teaching the little girls how to dance. She has also assisted with the youth field hockey program and is an ambassador of Peters Township High School and a member of the art club. After high school, Gia plans to attend college to study nursing. She also plans to continue her field hockey career by playing for a club team. Her favorite memory is coming home from the Ellis game and seeing a certain someone at the Chick-fil-A as they were passing by. The team begged the bus driver to stop for, for them. He didn't. She was crushed. In 10 years, Gia sees herself hopefully married to one of her crushes. Gia would like to thank her parents for helping her to see the positive in life and helping her through the hardest parts of her life. Her advice for the younger girl, just because life gets hard and does not go the way you plan, keep pushing through and continue to do the things that you love because I promise it will get better. Gia Graff. Number 10, midfield and captain, Cassidy King. Cassidy is the daughter of Kurt and Dina King. Cassidy has played field hockey since fourth grade. She's been on varsity all four years of high school and team captain her junior and senior years. In 2019, she was named to the all Whitfield first team. Cassidy has played as much lacrosse as she has field hockey and was captain her junior year. In addition to her sports, she's a three-year member of the Peters Township High School Math Club and New Alpha Theta, a three-year member of SAD Club and a two-year member of the Spanish Club. She was named a commended student in the National Marriage Scholarship Program. Cassidy plans to attend college in the New England area with a major in engineering and a minor in Spanish. She hopes to spend a semester abroad. Her favorite memories are the creation and rituals surrounding Shelby before each game, including when we made Nate, the trainer, wear a crazy wig for our 2018 Whippeal Championship game. In 10 years, Cassidy sees herself living in New England, in a New England city with her sister, near many ski resorts, while planning her next residency in a coastal town in Southern York. Cassidy would like to thank her parents for their unconditional love and support on and off the field. She's incredibly grateful every time she looks up in the stands and sees them cheering her on. Her advice to the younger players, never leave your lunch meat on the bus floor. Cassidy King. Number seven, defense, Emma Kulikowski. Emma is the daughter of Matthew and Kristen Kulikowski. Emma started playing field hockey her junior year. She played both JV and varsity her first year. She has also played soccer, softball, and was competitive equestrian. Emma is a member of student council. Her 
plans are to go to a university, but is not sure where or her field of study, or her field of study at this time. <coughs> she also wants to do a lot of traveling. Her favorite memory is winning the Field Hockey, hockey Olympics last year. In 10 years, Emma sees herself traveling, working, and being successful in a well-paying job. She would like to thank her parents for pushing her to be better and teaching her a hard work ethic. She also appreciates them coming to games and supporting her. Emma's advice to underclassmen, always give 110% and always show team spirit. Emma Kulikowski. Number 30, and goalie, goalie, Lydia Molinero. Lydia is the daughter of Joe and Marsha Molinero. Lydia just started playing field hockey her junior year. Prior to joining the field hockey team, she swam for 11 years for the Peters Township Swim Club and was a member of the high school swim team her freshman and sophomore years. Lydia has played lacrosse since fourth grade and played for Intrepid for three years. After high school, she plans to attend college in the South and major in criminal justice. Lydia's favorite memory is last year when Sarah got her mouth burned, stuck in her mouth, and could not get it out until after warm-ups. In 10 years, Lydia sees herself serving in the law enforcement field and living down south by the sea in a big ranch shell house with a family and two dogs. Lydia would like to say to her parents, thank you for everything that you do for me and always being there to be my best friends and supporting me even when I'm stubborn. I appreciate and love you more than you know. Lydia's advice to underclassmen, do anything and try everything you want to because by the end you will regret the chances you did not take. As cliche as it sounds, it's true that high school goes by extremely fast. So take all those chances and try all those new things because I wish I would have started this sport sooner. I love field hockey and my team. Lydia Molinero. Number 14 in goalie and the captain this year, Sarah Rubikin. Sarah is the daughter of Rick and Karen Rubikin. Sarah has been playing field hockey for eight years. She has been on the high school team for four years in addition to playing for Pittsburgh Venom for one season. Sarah, Sarah is also a lacrosse player for nine years. Sarah's other activities include Spanish club, NHS, and pure jewelry. A medallion candidate, Sarah has completed over 250 hours of community service during high school including supporting youth lacrosse and field hockey, working as a Zoom team ambassador for three summers and serving at the Cannonsburg Food Bank. She has also worked as a junior official for lacrosse. Sarah plans on attending college and majoring in exercise science with a goal of becoming a physical therapist. Her favorite field hockey memory is the bus ride to States last year watching Victorious with Ava while Mia was trying to get to Shane and Jeffrey Tower. The whole trip was such a fun experience and our first time playing in a state team. In 10 years, she wants to be successfully employed in her field, in a loving relationship, looking to adopt, maybe a child, maybe a dog, or both. Sarah wants to thank her parents for everything they have done for her. She says, you two have been my biggest supporters since day one. I would not be who I am today, and for that I will be forever thankful. Sarah's advice for underclassmen. I know that this is cliche, but I never believed it when people told me how fast high school is going to go. Fast forward four years, and now it is almost over. Cherish your teammates and the time you have with them. Sarah Rubikin. Number 32, forward, Amy Wilson. Amy is the daughter of Jeff and Linda Wilson. 
She's been playing field hockey since fourth grade and has played all four years of high school, two years JV and two years varsity. Her other activities include bad club, interact club, and she also plays lacrosse. Amy plans to go to college and hopes to travel to many places, especially Spain, where she will meet her future Spanish boyfriend. Her favorite memory is the field hockey trip to Olentangy, her freshman year, when the team made a synchronized swimming dance in the hotel pool. In 10 years, Amy sees herself sitting on a beach in Spain next to her cute Spanish boyfriend with a strawberry daiquiri in hand. She would like to thank her parents for supporting her and guiding her throughout everything in life. She says, I will forever be grateful and I love you. Amy's advice to underclassmen, always pee before you run. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Amy Wilson. Thank you, and again, the best thing about 2020 are our seniors. Another defender, senior Fair Saad, number 10. And midfield senior Hope Hussack, number 8. And for number 19, Julia Palumbo, who's a senior. Midfield number 35, Lauren Gill, who's a junior. And the goalie, junior number 23, Ryan Brown. Junior defender number 34, Sophia Bavino. And sophomore forward number 32, Megan Zimmerman. That's him all over the starting lineup for tonight. Now for the Phoenix Township Indians. Starting to right mid, number three, sophomore Maddie Holmes. The left defender, Captain Emma Devine, number five, and senior. The sophomore position, senior number seven, Emma Kulikowski. The right defense is junior number eight, Regan Brown. And in center, senior number 10, Cassidy King. Cassidy is also a captain. And left mid, number 12, senior Kenny Hill. Forward center, number 25, senior G. Grau. And a sweeper, number 28, senior Adriana Costanza. A left forward, number 32, senior Amy Wilson. And a goalie, number 44, senior Sarah Rubica, the team captain. The right forward, senior number 88, Lydia Molinero. Welcome to tonight's broadcast between Mount Lebanon and your Peters Township Indians. It's a rainy night tonight. This is Colin Powell, voice of Peters Township field hockey, sitting next to the lovely Alicia Powell, who I think she's telling me she has mic difficulties, but she can probably hear. Why don't you just speak into that, and then Lauren can give you a head nod. Can she tell you whether it's working or not? It doesn't, yeah, there's no light necessary. Okay. So, again, Alicia, you know, like we had such a strong showing last week, and now you come out hot with pretending you have mic issues, uh -huh. but welcome to the broadcast anyways. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. She's been running around. She had to drop off at, at uh, she's gone back and forth to swim, uh, and we dropped, we dropped our daughter off uh earlier at the game so we've been running around back and forth so she's a little uh a little frazzled a little frazzled she's a little fr a little frazzled as we kick this thing off but i did then, i did wear my glasses tonight so i'm going to be able to see oh that's exciting the numbers on it, the players yeah which helps a lot it is uh this is our first game underneath the lights uh you know 
We've had sunny, beautiful days, and now tonight is a kind of a rainy, miserable evening. Not wicked cold, but uh, but chilly. But definitely chilly. And these these players are going to be rain drenched by the end of the night because I think it's going the forecast. And you know, I don't know if you can trust dark sky, but uh, uh, it's it looks like it's going to be raining all the way through this game and into the into the night. So plant trees. You know, plant, go ahead and plant trees, plant grass. It's that time of year where, where we have cool weather, and it's actually a good time for sports. But anyway, good to talk with you again, Lish. And we're right into the action. There's Cassidy right in there. Yeah. And this is uh, senior recognition night. So this is senior recognition night. So that uh, earlier, before the game, before the or before the game, there were all the players came out with their all the seniors came out with their parents and they were recognized. Aww. It was nice. Yeah, it was. I it was that. You missed that. It was really nice. It was really really nice. Well done. Uh, Amy Pugliano did the announcing. She was very good. I mean, you know, I, I think I probably could have handled that, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, but but I think they trusted her and I think that they did a good job trusting her. She had, she, she had a commanding voice presence. Read it very well. Was loud, uh, loud enough for people to hear, uh -huh. and you could you could tell it was very very well done. And the players wrote some really really long uh, bios, which actually I should have gotten that from Amy, so I could have read those off. But we'll maybe we'll look to do that next week. Uh, first first shot of the game. Was it only for, bios Peter, for, for the seniors? Yeah, just for the seniors. Who are our seniors on the well, team this year? And it looks like we're gonna have our first corner. And so our seniors that were recognized tonight, Captain Emma Devine uh, came out with Mike and Laura. I, I won't know all the parents' names. <laughs> uh, Emma Kolakowski, she's uh, number seven on defense. There we go. We're on our way. Oh, that rain is really coming down, isn't it? Oh, Get yeah. it over to Cassidy. Cassidy. Ooh, ooh. And we get our first goal of the <laughs> evening. Oh, my gosh. I think it's, we saw that coming, didn't we? We did. So that happened at 1240 in the first, in the first, in the first quarter. Cassidy King, and we're looking to see. I thought it was Emma Kulikowski. Is that who scored? Emma Kulikowski? Who's got the ball? All right. So a little we'll be able to see in the replay, but... I thought it was Cassidy, but if you're telling me it's Emma Kolakowski, let's give Emma Kolakowski some props. And we'll give Cassidy the props as well because uh, there were there were a lot a lot of magic happening on that. But our first goal, quickly, just two two and a half minutes into the two minutes and twenty seconds into the first quarter, Peters is on the board. Don't worry, Lish, we'll find we'll find out. So an exciting start, huh? Really exciting. Yeah. I feel like I came out a little hot. I'm a, I came out a little hot with a little bit of energy. I've been pretty jazzed up. <laughs> it was that JV game that got you. Oh, yeah. Uh, that JV game. It was a great, good, that was was a good great game. Zero, zero. It was 0-0. It was 0 0 but They played great. With about four minutes left to go in the game, I will tell you, this is Colin Powell and Annabelle Powell almost almost scored to, to, <laughs> to, to take a 1-0. And I was, I was, I was, I was jazzed pretty jazzed up. jazzed up. I was pretty jazzed up. Right over there. <clears throat> so, I mean, with the rain, we are taking in people from outside. The <laughs> scorekeeper from Mount Lebanon came up, and, and she's she's now sheltered. So, I mean, I think this is a this is a shelter in place type situation. So, if, I know you're watching this the day after this, or maybe a year after this, or maybe maybe no one's watching this at all. But like last time. But if you are, be glad you're at home. Yeah, be be glad you're at home. COVID, here's another COVID nineteen blessing. Another COVID <laughs> blessing. And uh, just to let you know, we doubled our viewership uh, last week, Lish. What do you mean? Uh, in the first game versus Hempfield, yeah. 18 views. Yes. Now the second game, uh, 37 views. Wow. If we... Wow. How many likes did we get? Uh, we got, first of all, we got no dislikes, which is, <laughs> which is just really 
That was a big. That was big that's, for us. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, that was really that was really really big for us. I mean, we weren't expecting big dislikes, but we were really. I think after the first game after Hempfield, I think we were really thinking that I was I was like this is going to be very very hard to do, and then you came in, you came as a partner in rescue, and, and you like really made this much more enjoyable. So we, how many likes did we get? I, I think one, and I think it was you. <laughs> You weren't supposed to say that. Well, <laughs> people know. Do people know who the like is? Does it say like by you? I don't know. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it wasn't you. It wasn't you. It would not. It would not say. <laughs> We've gotten some feedback from Lauren that apparently you would not have known that you it was totally the, the one like. <laughs> and by the way, based upon that, by the time you watch this, <laughs> it will have two likes. And I don't know who the second like is. <laughs> So Mount Lebanon getting them into Peters Township zone. Uh-oh. Peters Township is commanded play here in the beginning. Mount Lebanon seems to be applying a little bit of pressure. Let's see how Peters handles this. Well, that's gonna that's gonna be going Peters Township way. <coughs> well, in any event, we don't know who the leg was, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure of that. But uh in any event, we did get a like, and we have 37 viewers, which if you trend that out, mm-hmm. like you, ha- you ever see those things where if you continually double? Yeah. Right? It, it gets a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so this game will probably get viewed by 74, uh-huh. and then after that, it's 148, and then 296. You're so good at math. Thanks. <laughs> 592. <laughs> 1100. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't 11, have out of 1184. <laughs> but and it, it would only take you about like 20 games to get us to a, a million a million person viewing audience. Amazing. <clears throat> and the first corner of the night. The first corner of the night for Mount Lebanon. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how we handle this. Well, that's that's a that's a that's a nice play right there. Wow. That's a nice set play. They got it out to the middle there. There was a crisp pass. Got on her stick for a nice play. That's a, that's going to be. That could be. We'll see that again tonight, right? I mean, like if you do that really well, mm-hmm. it's almost like. It's really hard to defense. Because you have to run from out of the goal. Mm-hmm. So if, if there's a crisp pass out to the center there, and the ball is going to be faster than the, than the player. The odds are in your favor. And the odds are in, and that means you're going to probably get a good shot off. So given the fact that they have a good corner person, somebody good in the middle, but they don't have this person. They don't have Cassidy they King. Have Cassidy King. To, to, ooh. It's the right idea. Right idea. Nice cross pass. She's so good. She's so She's good. She's so good. Oh, do we stop with the seniors? We we stop with yeah, the seniors. We okay, did. we did. We stop with Emma Kolakowski, mm-hmm. Katie Eland. Wait, you, did you skip Cassidy? Oh, Cassidy, Cassidy King, number ten. She was recognized at senior night with her parents. I don't know their names, but uh, uh, but the bios were really good too. They were, they were really I really well. Bu- they were really really well done. Talked about like where they wanted to be in ten years, where they were going, their favorite memories, oh. advice to advice to the other uh, players. And I was, I was really, I was, uh, I was really you were moved. very, I, I, I don't know, moved as a stretch, but like, <laughs> but like, I, it, it was well done. And you I really like, I really liked it a lot. <laughs> I, I teared up a little bit. I, you know, I would, you know, I'm a, you know, you, you know, I can, I'm easily touched, <laughs> you know. but I didn't in this case. All right. Okay. Katie Elin, mm-hmm. uh, midfielder, number 12. Uh, Gia Grau, who I think scored a goal. I think she scored a goal last week or two weeks ago. Uh, number 25, a forward. Uh, Adriana Costanza, number 28, a senior on defense. Uh, and, and I think I saw Rob earlier tonight walk, walk her out. I'm not sure of uh, her, her, her mom's, mom's name. Melissa. 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 Uh, senior Amy Wilson, who we, we, know, we know and like. Number 32, and she's a forward. 
uh, Sarah Rubicon, who we lo- we lo- we love her mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're big fans. Uh, number forty four goalie. Yes. Peter Township on the corner. It's got a crisp play out there. Oh, look at this! All right, mm, come on, come on. What happened there? I don't know. They're going to keep play going, but they're going to let us run it again, which I think I'm pretty happy because that didn't, you know, that that seemed to be going backwards as opposed to really pressing forwards. All right, they're going to they're going to work it to the side. We tend to like to work it on the side. Oh, there we go. That's a nice shot. Oh, I mean, isn't that that's scary? You know, like if I wouldn't want to stand in front of that thing, I'm end up with no teeth. And Lydia Molinera. Came out there with Joe and Marsha, uh, her parents, number 88, uh, senior goalie. Admittedly, I, like, sometimes I don't even know why they stop, stop these plays. No. I think sometimes the girls don't know either. You think? <laughs> 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 but it's really raining out here. It really is. All right. Maddie Holmes out there. Maddie Holmes is getting a good amount of playing time. So, Colin, do you ever look out there and feel a little conflicted seeing your old school colors? I did grow up in Mount Lebanon, and I feel no level of conflict whatsoever. (laughs) I mean, just absolutely zero level of conflict. Ooh. She's so good. (laughs) Well, I think also because they are blue and gold. Mm -hmm. And I went to the Ohio State University. It reminds you of Michigan. It does. And now I just find, I don't even know how I liked it whenever I was in high school. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I I did think we had cool jerseys when we were in high school. We had, like, the, we had the horns. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, kind of like a, you know, not too many, like, like, I'm surprised, you know. Obviously, the Indian's name is, it's got his, it's got its own bag. Don't go there. I'm not going to go there. Not this game. (laughs) But the devil thing, I mean, like, the devil thing has got, I mean, like, a Diablo, you know? (laughs) Like, I mean, like, (laughs) like, like, the Diablo Azul. I really like the sound of that. Yeah, right? The blue devil? Yeah. But, I mean, that's, that's got its, that's got its thing, too. Thank you for pushing me off the Indian talk. I mean, we're not ready. I think we're not ready for that. <laughs> nice play. Nice play to get that out. Oh, and nice play to get that advanced. Now, this girl's got a lot of pressure on it. She had to make that crisp play. If she doesn't make that crisp play, that is – that's a really, really big pass. I don't know who hit. So I guess you can't just fire it at somebody and expect to get the the ball. We need a rules official in here. You know, when I watch uh, like the NFL, they have rules officials in, in in the booth to like talk about the stuff. Yeah. I think if we just increase our budget <laughs> from zero <laughs> to something, we could get some. We could get a rules. We could get here. a rules official mm-hmm. up in here. But right now, our our budget is. It was supposed to, we, when we negotiated, it was supposed to be for a funnel cake, like <laughs> one funnel cake a year. But With during concessions are dur- closed. During COVID time, <laughs> we, we aren't even, get, we, we aren't going to get paid our, our funnel cake. Unless we get it from Heisler's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they have funnel cakes. I don't think they have funnel cakes. But they have other delicious treats there as Very well. Very good bakery there. Yeah. All right, we're going to have a Peanuts Township Corner. Who's on the point? Is that? I think it's Gia Growl, maybe? 25? Getting ready to pass it in? And you got to keep an eye. Where do you th- who do you think she's going to pass it to? Oh, it goes up top. Look at that. Okay. There you go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Maddie Holmes takes it in. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that scrum. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna, they're going to say illegal touch. Do we know? So we're about like... 35 seconds left. 
My lemon's moving slowly up here. By the way, I love your outfit. Little rain, little rain, rainy day, Peters Township. Little rainy day, Peters Township gear. Alicia uh, is wearing uh, cute little Peters Township ducky boots <laughs> and uh, and a Peters Township field hockey over over jacket, which I thought they only gave to the players, but it says it says Mama Powell on it. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Well, actually, I ordered this as part of the team spirit wear. Ooh, team spirit wear. Mm-hmm. Help support the team. That's a good, that's a good good purchase. And there we we're ending the first quarter. I think Peters Township controlled play, but it was it's going to be zero zero, and uh, we're gonna oh it's one nothing it's one nothing, and and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna take a little break here and come back to you in the second quarter. And we are back for the second quarter. The rain is actually picking up. Do you hear it out there? This is uh. You know, the press box is really an insanely painful place to be whenever it's hot because the sun comes in here and it 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 is on a sunny day on these Saturdays. It is 160 degrees inside here. It's an oven. It's it is an oven. It is a great place to be when it's raining because we are just dry as can be. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, yes. this is a great place to be. So let's see if Peters Township can add add something. Well, first of all, make sure they stave off. There's Reagan Brown. Reagan's pretty solid on D. We have a solid, solid D with uh, with Emma Devine, Emma Kolakowski, Reagan Brown, Elena Traficante, uh, Adriana Costanza. That's, I mean, that's a solid D, and Sarah Rubicon is really good in goal. I, haven't even, I don't think we've allowed a goal yet this year. Oh, and, you know, obviously Lydia Molinaro has played really well in goal as well when, when, when called into action. Here we are. All right, let's let's get this thing in. Let's get ourselves a little bonus goal. We've won. We think we won our games. Eight nothing versus Hempfield. Mm -hmm. Three nothing versus uh, versus Upper Saint Clair. Mm -hmm. So we haven't let up a goal, and we're twelve to nothing on uh, the year. In home games. In home games. That's oh, that's right. Yeah, Pine Ridge. Pine Ridge. Where they were. They were they're rough. What was that? What was the score of that game? I think they might be five nothing. Yeah. That yeah. Sounds right. But it doesn't count because it's north of the city. That's so far away. <laughs> I, I don't even think they send the scores down here. <clears throat> yes, at home. At home, we're we're doing exceptionally well. We have one one rough road blemish. And that first goal was scored by Cassidy King. When's the next game? Next game is tomorrow at Alderdice. Oh, at Alderdice. Yeah. Are you going? Yes, of course I'm going to go. I wouldn't miss it. I would not miss that game. And then our next home game is going to be the fifth. With We're hosting North Allegheny. Mm -hmm. And here we are on a break. There's Cassie working her way up. Looks like she's working her way into numbers. Ooh. She's got a crosser. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I don't know who was crossing there. Uh, who, who who was that? That was that was oh that was uh, Ava Pogliano who who almost got to the right place at the right time and uh, and, and and got herself a goal. But a nice cross by Cassidy. This is a good view, right? Mm -hmm. I like this side. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's, it, it, they should be both the same, but from the press box, we're right around the 45-yard line, so it's a nice, it's a nice view of the game. Gotta slow her down. All right. Uh oh. 
Good stop. A big, big stop. Boy, that is a nice, nice play. That's that's, that's Emma Devine. Okay. Taking what had a potential to be an odd, odd person break, odd girl break. I, I'm so used to hearing odd man rush or something like that, but it's an odd girl, odd girl break, odd girl rush. I don't know what you're talking about. That means like you have like an advantage in numbers, you right? Lo you lost me at scrum. Scrum. <laughs> scrum. It's scrumtastic. <laughs> Reagan Brown brings, brings it in. Well, looks like we're going to see a yellow card. Ooh. For who? Well, that's a yellow card. That's not even a green card. Wow. What is, is happening that here? Lebo? Against Lebo, number 19 for, for Mount Lebanon. Wow. Just got a. I think it's like a infraction. I don't know how long, how long it is. But I think we actually have numbers on them for a little bit. Last time we had a green card. This time we got the yellow card. Last game. Yeah, last game. Last game here. All right. So I'm going to count the players on the field right now. Two, four, six, eight. Nine. There's nine girls from Mount Lebanon plus a goalie. So the, the yellow card Four, indicates six, eight, a temporary ten. suspension of at least at least five minutes. Right. So so we're we have a we have an eleven versus ten right now for for at least like another four another four minutes or so. Okay. Sorry. Let's see if we can do it do anything with this. Okay. All right. Here we go. I still don't know exactly what she was, what happened. <coughs> I have a cough. It's seasonal allergies. It's seasonal allergies. In there. Don't be alarmed. And a sinus infection. Although I did go to MedExpress and they test, I asked them to test me for COVID. So I had to go into quarantine until I got my results back. Which they told me I was going to have COVID, but I figured I can't walk around with a cough and tell people it's going to be allergies without actually having it tested. You were so happy when you got those negative results. I got negative results. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right. Let's hold them up. Let's hold them up. Let's flip this. It's going to be Matt Lemon's ball. At the 20, 19, 18. Drop. Pulls it back. Well, from that. Get out there. Get out there. Oh, nice play. That's a great play. Mm -hmm. Nice play, Maddie mm -hmm. Holmes. Advanced nicely. Is that Sophia Forlini? Who is that? Uh, I think so. Yeah, that is Sophia. Yeah. Right. I'm starting to visually be able to figure out who the people are. I really appreciate Emma's headband. Yeah, it's helpful. Very easy to identify. Ooh! Corner. We got a corner. Ooh! Uh, Peter Township corner. He reruns back. I feel like people have watched the broadcast before, but every they probably haven't. But in a, in a corner... The corner, you know. Just talk uh, us through this. The defense has to go in, inside the net. There's a certain number of players that are allowed to inside the defensive mm -hmm. zone, mm -hmm. and the, everyone else goes back behind the 50. Mm -hmm. And you have you have an advantage with the number of players you on offense. They have to bring it outside that circle, and then. Oh, the yellow card girl just went back in. I that think. was quick. That was a three-minute yellow card. They said five minutes in, in Google. Google said five minutes. Google said five minutes, and it ended up being three minutes. Or check your Wikipedia page. Maybe we, can, maybe we should modify that Wikipedia page. <laughs> I don't think we're... In, uh, we don't have the stats that we did last time or the factoids, do we? No. I think I, we used them all up. I used them all in the last game. we got to get some factoids about our girls. Yeah. And we have bios mm -hmm. on the seniors, so we can mm -hmm. at least do it on the seniors. Work from there. Work, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> And I could have just you know, asked Amy because, like, Amy Pugliano to keep it 
to keep the stats things up here. Yeah. Because she would she would have I'm sure happily left them for me. Totally. Here we go. All right. Peter's back on the back on the move. Get in the middle there. Oh, like, like this. Goal! <laughs> Goal! All right. That is. A, I think that's Ava Pugliano sitting there, ready for wow. ready for that next ready for the next pass by Cass, Cassidy King. Uh, that was Ava Pugliano, number twenty-two, who who scored it. I believe it. I think it was a, a redirect by by Ava, right? Uh, although Cassidy brought it up. You got it. Well, he might be listening to me. It was uh -oh. just announced as a goal by Ava Pugliano. So I, I, I looked like a redirect to me. <laughs> <laughs> but Cassidy did, did come up there with the ball. <laughs> so I don't even know. But it all happened so fast. That's Peter Sanchez field hockey. It's quick. And when we're at home, we're dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen nothing. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've become the voice of Peter Stanley, yes. ever since I become the voice of Peter Township field hockey. Mm -hmm. Thirteen goals for, <laughs> zero <laughs> goals against. I'm a plus thirteen as an announcer. <laughs> and the only game, and I don't want to say it happened, because they don't drive me up for the away games. They, I mean, <laughs> they, 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 they probably could and they or would should just send a car. I mean. The car, a car service, <laughs> right, car service. Right. But they could have, they could, they could have done that. <laughs> but they didn't do it. And I'm, listen, I'm not judging because we're, you know, everyone's on a budget right now. Of zero. Yeah, we have, we have a zero dollar <laughs> budget, so we can't afford the car service, you know. But, but, I'm saying it. It might be worth, might be worth looking into it. I don't want to take away from the girls. <laughs> I, I should. It's, it's the girls who it's really the make girls. the difference. It's, it it's, it's, it's not me. It's all their it's hard not work. Me. Just having a little fun. Just joshing around a little bit. Just <laughs> just playing a little, little little jest there. Oh, that's a nice that's a nice pass. Is your light is the light on on your microphone or no? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> there is no light on these microphones. <laughs> it's making me really nervous. <laughs> not that I'm really saying anything. No, you're saying a lot it, of stuff. It just makes me feel nervous that it's. Listen, it makes me nervous too. Cause <laughs> if, if, if you're not talking back, it's not banter. It's just a crazy dude. <laughs> Did I tell you when when you were gone? I said I was I was I was gonna get a Wilson volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> just talk to you like like in Castaway. <laughs> Here we are working. working. <laughs> How great would that be? That would be. And funny. actually, when you didn't come, like I was gonna pretend like it was your like like I was gonna be like, hey, Colin. <laughs> Here we go. I'm really glad I came back. Yeah, I am too. I am too. The senior announcements like saved us. Oh my goodness. Because swim practice was uh, right in the middle right there. Right in the middle of this whole thing. Colin, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Clear it out. Emma Devine, just okay. oh, so yeah. steady, right? That's just nice to have that. So good. That senior yeah. leadership back there, a steady player. Yep. She's a good athlete and just does smart things. Great all around I'm athlete. A, I'm a big, I'm a big Emma Devine fan. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, I like all the girls on this team, except for two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like all the girls. <laughs> I think this is a really well coached team as well. Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I, we always talk about the roster, mm -hmm. and you know, and I wish I had a roster of all the coaches because I know Mel Coco does a fantastic job and the culture within the within the program. Is, it's it's a great culture. It really you know, is. These girls really like each other. I think they work really hard, and they try really hard. So and supportive. You can see they actually like they list coaches are. So I think the sporting coaches are Audrey Wilcox, Delaney McCarran, and Kelly Meenan, as well as Melanie Coco. You go, Mel Coco. <clears throat> Which I think I say that every single time I do it. You know what that's from? No. That's from Mean Girls. Oh, really? <laughs> he goes to, where he goes. <laughs> where he walks in and he has the, the, val the, the 
is the carnations or something like that. He goes, like one row, five, oh, three roses for this person, five roses, <laughs> five roses for for Mel, for Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. And then, <laughs> and then he goes, and one rose for Katie Heron, and no roses for Gretchen Carl. Uh, and, and he goes, <laughs> you love that movie. Uh, this is a great movie. This is such a great movie. <laughs> You know, that's, that's Tina, that was Tina Fey who wrote that, which... She's so talented. She's so talented. So funny. She is very, very funny. And also an avid field hockey enthusiast. Mm. Mm -hmm. Learn something new every day. You do? You know, I think she did write that second Muppet movie. Did she write the second Muppet movie? Not so good. No, she did she really? Okay, I'll look that you up. You might have to look that up. Yeah. The first Muppet movie, that was... Oh. We got a Mount Lebanon corner with about a minute left to play. So let's see if we can stave this one off and, and keep our keep ourselves keep ourselves in a in a good way. Going into going into halftime. <clears throat> well I like that. Alright, that's moving slowly. Uh, well, it's, it's another corner, but that takes off a lot of time. So they're going to have a chance to do this corner, and they're going to. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's 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 uh. Here's such a ball. I guess she hit it right at her. Get back, get back, everybody. All right, move slowly. <laughs> Twenty five seconds left. All right, so that was, oh, that was, uh, there was a little bit of pressure right at the end of the half, got a little scary, ooh, I had to hurt the ankles, and now time is, time is out, we, uh, that takes us to halftime with a score of Peter Sancho 2, Mount Lebanon nothing, I think a, a half where we really dominated play, and and uh, we were clearly the aggressors. We'll take a little halftime break here, and we'll pick it up in the third quarter. And we are back for the third quarter. Are you okay? We're back for the third quarter. Third quarter of action here. Uh, Peter Township 2, Mount Lebanon Blue Devils. Devils. You know, I just noticed Zero. you're wearing blue. I am not. I am wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> you are totally wearing the, blue vineyard vines. You totally look like you're oh, from Mount Lebanon. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is not blue vineyard vines. This is a red under armor. Mm -hmm. No, I'm wearing the red under armor, <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Why do you do this? Why do you shame me like this? Why do we open <laughs> the second quarter with you shaming me? Because <laughs> it's fun. I didn't even think about it. I didn't know we were playing Mount Lebanon today. I rolled up and I did recognize the. I mean, I. When I saw the colors, I'm like, oh, this is pretty easy. Because sometimes I come up here when I see the team, I'm like, and it says like their name, and I don't even know what the team nickname is. You know right, what I mean, like right, Hempfield. Right. You're like, what's the Hempfield, what's the, what's Hempfield's name? Do you know the, the Hempfield team name? Do you want me to look it up? No. <laughs> it's the Spartans. Do you know Upper St. Clair? Um, ooh. Warriors? Warriors? Yeah. No. Panthers. Hmm. How about South Fayette? Pilgrims. No. It would be like we're in like the Massachusetts <laughs> League. Okay, wait, no, no, no. Let me guess. Oh, it's again. the Pilgrims versus the Wild Quakers. <laughs> Wildcats. Close. Panthers. 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 Okay. Okay. Give me. I like this quiz. I do, I do too. All right. North Allegheny. Oh, I feel like I know this one. Purple Wave. <laughs> you remember when we played? Uh, when we played uh, at halftime, we, we played them last year, and uh, for the song, we oh, played. Oh yes. We played Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> the like it was, tigers. It was, they gave. We were like trying to jazz our team up, and we played Eye of the Tiger. And they we were playing were, the tigers. They were the tigers. That was stupid. So. <laughs> <laughs> How could I have forgotten? I can't remember. I'm trying to think. I think what Baldwin is. 
Lauren, do you know what Baldwin is? <laughs> they're purple. And then they're the Crusaders. I don't, but they can't be the Crusaders because that would be like a Catholic school. <clears throat> All right. So I won't, I won't, I won't make you guess on that one. Trinity. Saints. Hilltoppers. <laughs> Hilltoppers. Trinity Saints. It's like logical. Right? Yeah, totally. That would make sense. Uh, let's see. Not loving it on the run here. Nice play. Nice play to stop that and just clear it out. First by Adrian Costanza. Then uh, cleanup work done by Elena Traficante. Good play by both of them. Just cleared out. Cassidy King. Again, she's strong defensively, too. Amy Wilson on the ball. That's going to be whose ball? I'm going to give it to Melvin. Are you texting? I can't even believe, like, this is a broadcast. Like, we're in the middle of a broadcast. I know, but, but my, my boss is emailing me questions. Okay. The job that pays me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Oh, I, 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 what I should really say is it's amazing that you're able to do both of these things. <laughs> At the same time. Like a pretty high-powered broadcast uh -huh. and like uh -huh. some, some crucial legal crucial work, legal work at the uh -huh. same time. Mm -hmm. Brown's going to take this out. She zips it over the side. Oh, off the stick. Now Levin will take over. What a what a shift in seasons really, really quickly. That's a nice pass. Oh, you know, it's just good to apply that pressure, though, to make a defenseman have to make a great play or a nice play. Cassie takes it over. She's a machine. She has it now. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> it's good to have you back. <laughs> I mean, at some point, I was like, I, I think people heard I made a mouth click. I was like, <laughs> I, I actually like, I, I felt myself open my mouth to talk, but then I'm like, no, nah, she's typing, so I don't, she shouldn't talk now. And and but it made like a mouth click, like a little an audible mouth click. Maybe you should have a drink of water. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like a thirsty thing. It was like a, it was like a, like a, my my vocal cords were like, oh, let's get this out of here, let's get that out of there. Okay. Nice play by Sarah Rubin. And nice play by the defenseman to, yeah. to, to pinch down. The ref is explaining something. If only we knew what it was. If, if, if they, they should give him a mic. Mm -hmm. Or we should run around with mics. <laughs> like follow them. How long are these courts? Could we interview the players after the game and the coaches? Wouldn't that be fun? That would be awesome. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice... Go ahead and control that, Amy. And get it up. There we go. Nice. Emma Devine again. Love that. You're right. I do love that headband. Because mm -hmm. you know exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Nice. Look at look at this series of nice plays. Oh, don't you dare! Oh, come on! <laughs> that was that. I thought it was geographic. I, like, I thought it was a nice play to like oh. to go ahead and do that and flip it, flip, flip it around. Katie Ealing claps on the ball. Took one for the took one for the team. Shot to the elbow again. All right. 
There you go. That's another nice defensive play, right? She stopped it, and like there were there were, there was looking like there were going to be like four Mount Lebanon players to mm -hmm. two Peters Township players, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I forget who it was. It might have been Adriana Costanza who came up there and, and just stopped it. I you know I didn't see that Pine Ridgeland game. I, I, like Pine Ridgeland must be like. So good. So good. Because the reports I also got back were that we played a really good game. And I, I, I mean, I did lots of investigative digging. Just an <laughs> insane amount of... There's a huge moth in front of us. <laughs> That's a giant moth, isn't it? It's probably... Don't... You, unless you, you, you cannot flip through, like, three layers of glass. <laughs> but this moth is probably... Nine inches long. Remember when that moth flew in our house and you thought it was a bat? It was huge. This thing was <laughs> so massive. It was, you thought it was a bat, too. We were so scared. We were so scared. Because we thought we were going to end up with rabies. <laughs> oh. I mean, this thing was... You had to see how massive this thing oh, was. Oh, God. The hunt for what that. What time of year? Because I never see moths like that. That was just last year, too, I think. Yeah, was it in the spring? I don't know. I think it was like, it might have been like fall. No, it was fall of last year. You're right. You're right. It was, I mean, this thing was, it was. It was the size of a bat. It was, it was the size of a bat. It was massive. It was, it was a It was black. thick. It was so thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Everyone in our whole family. Oh, that's a Mount Lebanon corner. Okay. So stave this off. Good defense. Get back quickly. Force them to do it, but I mean, I expect they're going to pass it to that girl in the middle again. I, can't, I forget who it was, but that was a crisp play in the first in the first quarter. But she doesn't. She just, just doesn't get it as cleanly. There you go. Good. Good play. Nice play. <clears throat> and that's through cleanly. That's going to be our ball. Ba bam. Fist bump it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this thing flew in and it flew. You know how bats like have like that salt and pepper shaker look? Yeah. They just like look, they look uneven. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, if they look like a salt and pepper shaker with like two wings that act independently of each other. It was, that's what this moth looked like when it flew in. And then it flew in behind a cabinet and we didn't see it. Oh, I was scared. <laughs> Remember, I, I called the health department and reported that we had a bat in our house. Yes. And then I had to call them back and say, never mind, it was a moth. Were they, they, they going to send somebody? <laughs> or something? Um, that Out of bounds going to Mount Lebanon. I don't remember. But but we were going to have to get rabies shots. We didn't find it soon enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and I hate needles. I just well, hate needles something. so much. That was something. Although I've been pretty, I've been a lot tougher lately. You have been. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to even get a flow shot this year. I haven't gotten it yet. And I did have a chance. When I picked, went to pick up a prescription at uh, our local CVS. Uh, I mean, yeah, C CVS, CVS doesn't need a plug. <laughs> Goal, Peters Township. Woohoo! That was quick. Cassidy King with another, with another goal. The 421 mark. And that's her second of the evening. Cassidy King. That was quick. That was that came upon us. What a great senior night. Totally, that's a great senior night. I mean, the weather's horrible. True. The company's nice though. <laughs> it's nice company. And the JV game was a, a fun game to watch. It was zero zero. But Peter, uh, Peter's they played did, so well. Peters, I thought, played really really well. And, and I mean, if anyone was going, they had a lot of nice opportunities. It looked like they were going to score on a couple of them. Just missed. Didn't have too many threats against them. <clears throat> Three nothing. All right, so this game's this game's pretty in control. So I can go back to my CVS story. So I went to get I, I went to get I went to get meds, and they asked me if I wanted a flu shot. And, and you like, said no. Well, I was like, I just waited a really long time for for my for my medis my medicine. So I so I went there. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, it's gonna take you 15 minutes to get your medicine. So then I, I. So you could have I gotten left. a flu shot while you were waiting. But they didn't tell me flu shots were available before. Mm -hmm. So I left, and then 
when I came back, they were like, you want to get a flu shot? I was like, yeah, I think I do. I think I do. And then I was like, how long is it going to take? They're like, 15 minutes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I, that would have been a perfect thing for you to have me do while I waited for my prescription. But I'm not going to wait around uh-huh. no. for 15 minutes to no. get a flu shot. I probably should have. No. Well, they don't feel well. And should you get a flu shot whenever you don't? No, you're not supposed to get a flu shot when you're like and, have and a the, sinus infection anyway. I have a sinus infection and in, in, like seasonal allergies right now. And yeah. I did get a COVID-19 test, which came back negative. And you have fluid in your ear. I have fluid in my ear, so I can't hear that well. <laughs> so if I sound like I'm like screaming, that could be why. <laughs> so if I, so if there's a goal, I'm going to – but there have been three goals, I guess. I don't know if, I've, if I'm louder than usual. But I just can't – I can't hear that well right now because there's fluid in my ear. But that's probably why I shouldn't get a flu shot. (laughs) 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 Oh, God. (laughs) But it does make me want to get a drink of water. Which, thank you very much for bringing me water. You're welcome. That was really nice of you. And ball going back to my 11. I think we maybe haven't hit with as much uh, field hockey knowledge this mm-hmm. game yeah i think i hit with a lot maybe more field hockey knowledge last yeah. game and, and some stats yeah i don't know i should, mean should we should we bring that back next week we'll bring it back next week yeah we'll okay. bring it back next week okay this we is a little more free flow this is like a get to know you like i think alicia and i have realized that we're probably going to be the broadcast team for the next two years <laughs> and this is it's a little the, presumptuous don't is, you think <laughs> Well, I, listen, they extended my contract last in the, in the, <laughs> after the first game. And, and I, think, I think what I found is I'm, br- I'm bringing you with me. I'm, I'm, bringing, I'm, bringing, I'm bringing you along for the, for the glorious ride. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a, it might be an up and down roller coaster of emotions. But and how many people did you ask to join you up here before you asked me? Oh, like, never took up to four. A couple. Five? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you, no. Five, including Probably. a twelve-year-old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Well, he was eleven at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was your fifth <laughs> choice. Fifth. And we're getting another Peters Township corner with a minute left to go. Every corner is a goal. Corner goal. Corner goal. The cheering on rainy nights is definitely there's less cheering on rainy nights. Yeah, it definitely puts a damper on it. I think people just hide underneath their like umbrellas a little mm-hmm. bit. I wore flip flops tonight, which you know I think it's going to be cold whenever I walk out. Yeah, here. You're going to have cold toes. Have cold toes. Oh, that's that's a that's that's a Ooh. nice pass. Ooh. Oh, look at that. She's so good. Get it in there. Come on. Get come on, come get on. that goal. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Hustle. 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 Hustle, hustle. Get in there. 20 seconds left. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Cassidy. No, that's going to that's gonna, that's that's okay. take care of that's this third okay. quarter. But another goal. Goal every quarter. And the third quarter is the same. So... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a little break and we'll pick it up back up in the fourth quarter, <laughs> and we're back for fourth quarter action. Colin Powell alongside Alicia Powell, the lovely Alicia Powell. Aww. Uh, she's wearing glasses. I'm trying to look smart. Yeah, you look smart. Mm. Well, women are working around. They're gonna have to make something happen quickly if they wanna. They want to threaten in this game. Another scrum. That was a scrum in the middle of the field. What does scrum mean? It's like when people come together around a ball. I, I think it's used a lot in rugby. Mm-hmm. It's called, I think that's the formal name for it is, is scrum. You ever see in rugby whenever the ball goes in the middle and uh, and the players like lock arms and push, push against each other? I don't think I've ever watched rugby, but that sounds really exciting. It's a scrum, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's confusing if you haven't watched it. But I've definitely watched a little bit of it. But I think because of because of that, other sports have borrowed borrowed the word scrum. And that's where the word scrumptious comes from. It's surrounding (laughs) food. Really? Yeah. No. (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 that's not why. That's not where it comes from. 
Scrum delicious. You're going to make me hungry. If only, yeah. if only there was a concession stand. <laughs> Seriously, they would have funnel cakes and, and, and walking tacos. Ooh. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? You know, I walking love walk walking tacos. Walking tacos like are my favorite. Nights. Maybe I should have a walking taco night just for dinner because there that are no concession stands this year. Put another corner, another corner for Peter's Township. Walking tacos don't, don't seem super healthy, but I guess they're not like horrible for you. I mean, it's kind of like a taco. It's basically a taco. Walking taco. <laughs> <laughs> Almost exactly okay, like a taco. Like, <laughs> it's like Fritos. Yeah, Does it have yeah. Fritos in them? Instead of a corn corn tortilla. Corn okay, fine. It Which I guess are like... They're corn chips. They're corn chips. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, I mean, I, I love that she was like on that corner again. My God, I might make walking tacos for dinner tomorrow night. That would be so fun. That would be fun. Would you do it in the little bags, actually? Why not? Well, that's crazy. Then well, we wouldn't have to do any dishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a couple nice opportunities for Peter's Township. Would have been nice to, to get him. Oh, look, the ball is going back. I don't exactly know why. I guess it went out on. And Maddie Devine is going to. Or Emma, Emma Devine is going to take it up. Hold her. That's her older sister, Maddie Devine. The Devines just produce Peter's Township field hockey talent. <laughs> Another corner. Another corner, and it looks like it's going to be Ava Zimmer. Ava Zimmer bringing it in. So let's see what she does here. What do you think? Is she going to work at the Cassidy King? What do you think of this? What's your best guess here? Oh. Oh. Ooh. A little hot. Back to Cassidy. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, I like I like that goalie. All over it, but we had a nice mm -hmm. position there. Yeah, we Ava did. Zimmer took, me, Ava Zimmer took that shot on the post with the idea that maybe she could redirect uh, a Cassidy King shot. And now we got and take it out at 25. So it didn't touch anybody. It just went out the back. So if it goes out the back, the offense takes it at the 25. If it goes out the back off of off, if the offense hits it over the up through the back. Yeah. It goes the it goes to the defense and it goes at the sixteen. Okay. If the offense if the defense hits it, if it goes off a defender, then the offense gets at the twenty five. That wasn't very well explained. Was it badly explained? No, I followed. Corner. Corner. Peter Township corner. <clears throat> okay. There we cast the king. Oh. Oh. All right, good try. I wonder if a golf swing would work with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is it really? It's, it's kind of similar to a golf swing. How's your golf swing these days? I played the worst round ever <laughs> in Laurel Valley. No. I mean, it made me want to throw away my clubs. I no. stunk. I, could, I kept on moving my feet, like almost in my backswing. It was, it was like, I made the joke remember with the three people I was playing that I, sh I shouldn't have smoked crystal meth that morning. No, because, no, but that was a joke. Yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> it's definitely a joke. God. But I played. It was that bad. I've never smoked crystal meth, so I don't know how I play, but I would assume oh, no. that I would play horribly on crystal meth. <laughs> oh, God. No one, I don't think any human should actually use crystal meth <laughs> because God. I think anybody would do anything horribly on crystal meth. And by did, the way. And did you hurt your shoulder or elbow? While golfing? No. I hurt my wrist a little bit. My wrist, wrist is still a little tweaked. Wrist. And I'm rolling into paddle tennis season. Yeah. Quite an accomplished athlete here. I mean, a horrible golfer, and I play paddle tennis. I should sell your clubs. Oh, no, don't sell my clubs. Oh, I would get new clubs. Maybe you should, maybe you should <laughs> sell them before I throw them away. After I played that, I was, I, I was like... I need I, new clubs. Oh, well, no. I really was like, I think maybe I should take a break from golf for a little bit. You know, it, was, it just stunk so bad. But I was playing... So very well up until then, and then all of a sudden it just went away. That's why like sports like field hockey are great because like if you're if you're just a good athlete and you work really hard, you get better. Sometimes in golf you work really hard and you just get worse. Yeah, it's you gotta know? be really frustrating. It is frustrating. I think people can probably hear the frustration in my voice. Here, <clears throat> that's how frustrating. I'm, ah, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so very angry. But I was, I was so irritated, especially since Laurel Valley is like the most beautiful place on earth. Get over there. Get over there. Come on. Again, Emma Devine gets back. Yep. 
gets back and makes a nice play to just settle everything down and get us get us numbers. And it's raining even more. It just keeps on raining a little bit more and more the entire time. Guess what the temperature is. Let's say 54. What is it? Are you kidding? No. It's 54. No way. Is there like a thermometer? No, there's there? not a thermometer, but it was like 59 coming over, and I knew it was getting like a little bit colder. It's no fun to play these games with you when you get all these I'm a good answers, guesser. Right? You know what? I didn't give you like the, I, I should have walked you through my logic, <laughs> you know, so that people could be privy. Another Mount Lebanon corner. Another Mount Lebanon corner. Well, let's see if they do this centering pass uh, and, and shot. Last time I think they came in a little hot and they didn't control it. Well, gave us a little bit of time to react to that thing. Well, it's going to be Peter's Township Ball. But it was 59 degrees, so I thought to myself. It's probably dropped it's five. It's probably dropped five. But I'm, I mean, I, I, it just feels like it shouldn't be like, if we're 40s, it would be like insanely disgusting. It just doesn't feel that bad. I think if I were wet, I would probably think it was like 45. <laughs> I know. These poor girls are so uh, they're, they're soaked. Probably a little colder for Mount Lebanon than it is for Peter's Township, because there's just been when you're also when you're down three nothing, and not that many great things have happened for you. Yeah. It, it, it feels that much colder. You know what I mean? Like the sweet, the sweet warmth of goals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Alicia is so excited. Alicia is so excited about this. She's actually dancing. She is <laughs> I'm actually, just trying to keep warm. She, oh, is that why you keep warm? <laughs> it wasn't you really like you were going through like some dance routines of your high school year, like some, oh, just, do some jazz steps, oh, jazz, oh, hands, no. jazz, like, hands. jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz handing it over there. But there was definitely like a that didn't look like a keep warm. That looked like a looked like a, looked like a real real, <laughs> some real dance, the, dance routine that you had worked on a bunch as a kid. Oh, stop! And you, and you went I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, Wish <laughs> uh, was quite a performer in high school. She was. Oh, I'm the performer. Uh -huh. she, she, she was. She was uh, the lead on what was it? Bad Seed. That was in elementary school. Yeah, she was. It was. It was, and also, she uh, she was in a production of Annie. Uh, in elementary school. In, uh, yeah, also in elementary school, but. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she was uh, she was one who went over to go. Santa Claus, we never see Santa Claus. What's that? Who's he? Um, did you hear her nail that? <laughs> she absolutely just nailed that. Oh, it takes me back. Oh, it does. It really does. What's that? Who's he? <laughs> I, I I don't know. I mean, I think did you have a little leeway to perform that the way you wanted to, or did you? Is it? Do they pretty much tell you like this is how you, this is how you have to do it? No, they they told me how to. Do it. I, yeah. I was ten. Yeah. yeah. But what a performance! <laughs> what a performance! It was magical. <laughs> it lives on. There are probably still people are talking about that. <laughs> My parents. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. They say. They say. <laughs> Colin, you're not good enough for this girl. <laughs> She's an angel. <laughs> you grew up in Mount Lebanon, the Blue Devils. <laughs> oh, ball goes in the stands. There's no chipped teeth there. Peter's Township ball, Emma Devine taking out. About four and a half minutes left to go in the game. <clears throat> it's gonna be Peter's Township ball again. Just slowly and methodically moving up the field. Advancing the ball, advancing <laughs> the initiative, ever moving forward with their objectives. <laughs> Peter Township girls, take it down the middle. Cassidy King, working the field. 
surveys, works it upfield to the corner where it's possessed by Peters Township, collapsed upon by Mount Lebanon, Mount Lebanon's ball, and they shall turn the field, take possession of the ball, and now five, with all players five meters away. I like that. And away they go. I like that accent. Oh, I like it. It'll be hard for me to not turn it into like Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> like it just migrates. Yeah, yeah. Should I, uh, uh, well, they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and they got it going up the third there. <laughs> it's, uh, that's gonna be a Mount Lebanon ball. Oh no, we're looking at a corner now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a corner for Peters Township. Don't you know? Yeah. Who's going to take that in? Ava Zimmer? Ava Zimmer's going to field the, put that ball into play. She's going to go ahead. Who is she going to work it over to? Oh, she's got Cassidy King really close to her. Oh, she slides it out there. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Looks like uh, looks like the referee is calling something. It's going to be uh That's going to be a... Oh, they're going to just do it over again. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Remember when you when when your eye was all red? You had that burst blood blood Why? vessel in your eye, and <laughs> you talked like a pirate with an eye patch for like <laughs> for like two weeks. You wouldn't let me get the eye patch. I would have talked like a pirate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would have been so great. I mean that. That eye was so disgusting. It was all red. I had one straight red eye. It was horrible. No, no, I couldn't look at you. It was horrific. I couldn't stop looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a guy at work made fun of me for it. And like two weeks later, he got the same thing. It was his was even worse. Oh. And that those things last forever. If you've ever had them, if you've ever had them, they last for like two weeks. It's like a burst blood vessel. It's, oh. I think it's relatively common because there's a. Uh, Optom- optometrist, op- ophthalmologist, op- ophthalmologist, who who I know, who I'm friends with, uh, and he was he had he had the very clinical term for it, and he said it was quite common. He said it's quite common, and there's nothing you can do for it. No, there's you just wait it out. It. And you're not in danger because at first you're like, am I gonna die? So your eye is bloody. Bless me, thank Bless you. Bless you. Oh, look at that! Another goal. Another wow. Goal. Who got that? Who got that? They're excited about that. They're excited about, <laughs> oh, wow. who, about who got that. I don't know who got it, but 121 left to go in the game, and the team is excited. I think Cassidy's carrying it up, but I didn't think she got it. There was a little scrum. There was a little, there was a little <laughs> madness in front of the net. Amy Wilson got it. Oh, oh that's wow. awesome. That is awesome. All right, Amy Wilson with the goal. Go, Amy. All right, that's great. Oh, I like that. I, you know, everyone was really excited. You know, I mean, like, everyone was really excited about that. Oh. 48 seconds to 48 go. 48 seconds left. And let me say, I know we're about to close this thing out as Cassie King works the ball upfield again, hopefully to score another goal. Uh, it's just another joyous evening doing this with you. I, 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 so, I so thoroughly enjoy doing this with you, and that was really, really fun. Thanks and for I'm, inviting me. I'm glad you're I'm, doing this with I'm me. I'm glad it was your fifth choice. Makes it, <laughs> you're, now you're my first choice. <laughs> now I can't imagine doing it with anybody else. Aww. Unless they call me. And so... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> unless one of your top four teachers, they're like, like, well, I mean, like, but I think it's unlike, oh, another goal, <laughs> another goal, another goal by Cassidy King. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Aww. That was that was awesome. So, wow, holy cow, what that was that, that was awesome. We're gonna run off the last 10 seconds here. And that's going to be end of the game. Wow, what a what a way to close it out! What a way to close it out. So, all right, that ends the that ends our night with a final score. Peters Township five. The seniors had a great night. 
uh, St. Clair, uh, nothing. Sarah Rubicon with, uh, with uh, another clean slate. No goals against. That puts the Peters Township Indians at 3-1. and 3-0 and at home with one away loss. And we'll, uh, the, our next broadcast will be the fifth against North Allegheny. Uh, so uh, comment below. If you if you're watching this, we we need it, like it, uh, and I'm talking to you, Alicia. All right, see you, folks. <laughs>